Hi, beautiful cancers. How are you? How are you feeling? Shall we take a look at what's going on? What you need to know this week? Positive energy, healing energy, relaxing. Let's chill a little bit. Let's kiki, okay? And see what comes up. Seasons are changing. I hope you are taking good care of yourself over there. Shout out to those of you on the other side of the world that are going into your summer weather as we over here, Europe and America, we're going to our into our winter weather. Playing jazz, music, unpacking all the winter clothes today. And I'm already getting so excited for Christmas, but I know all of the Halloween folks are in the house. <laughs> Comment below what you're going to be this Halloween, your kids, what you got going on. After filming this, I'm going to make a nice, delicious, healthy pumpkin coffee drink. <laughs> All right. Last deck here to shuffle on camera. And then we're going to pull and see what you are getting for the week ahead. Keep in mind, you will see dates in the title at first, but all of my readings are timeless Whenever you're meant to see it is when something is going to come out, okay, at the right time. This is general. Take what's resonating for you right now. Come back and watch it later. Things may resonate later, okay? We get the strength card again. You got this last week. Eight and six. Strength card, six of swords. We're pulling your overall energy right now. Nine of cups here. Wow, making yourself happy. Family is out and travel. Ooh, is this already resonating for some of you? Do we have some trips planned, thinking about what we're gonna do? I don't know why I'm already channeling. Someone here is already planning, planning how they're gonna move their family somewhere new in the new year. It's something you're already receiving the idea about, and you're not necessarily doing it right now or this week, but for someone, this is the sign you've been asking for. Yes, you're doing this in the new year, probably in uh, May. Like you're not going to be in the same place you were next summer. I don't know why that's already coming up. Some of you must be thinking about that right now. Okay, so the week ahead, we see you controlling your emotions, choosing your thoughts wisely, choosing joy. Wow, this is actually really beautiful. Strength card. You've got everything under control. It's almost like even in, within you, you may be... Kind of processing a lot on the inside but on the outside you're keeping your cool you appear to be very much in control of the situation um even though you may be vulnerable on the outside so some of you you're getting the naked card here look how beautiful this is the african goddess mami wata number three card some of you are being told let down your guard a bit because I do see this this guard, this armor. She literally has an armor above her head. You're letting down your guard, getting a little bit vulnerable with yourself. Some of you, this is going to be a really good week for writing, creating. Almost like journaling down deep thoughts, feelings, emotions. You're accepting something here about yourself. That's what's helping you heal dare I say, accepting something about family members as well, like we're all different. No longer holding something against yourself or against another person. This feels super specific. I'm sorry if that's not resonating for all of you, but just kind of channeling whatever's coming through. Okay, let's get more overall energy. So travel family, naked. Don't settle, dream big, there's more for you is here. Fall back, no need to worry, take a break, all will work out. I love seeing that too with the dreams coming true. Stay vulnerable, stay hurtable, even if something feels a bit weird or, or confusing at first. Okay, I like this vibe. It's relaxing me. It's calming. <laughs> Travel comes out again. 
taking time off, take a trip, have an adventure. Wow, I kind of love seeing the synchronicity all together. Fall back, don't settle, dream big. Like it's okay to, dare I say, like risk a little bit to go after your own happiness, to do whatever the heck feels good and makes you happy without worrying about there being like dire consequences because of that. Do you get what I'm saying? Like some of you are like, Letting go of this energy of betrayal or energy of negativity or it's almost like this feeling of you may have seen things from a perspective of betrayal, of shame or of being kind of judgmental, maybe judging yourself or judging someone else. And I kind of feel like you're releasing this. Yeah, grounding is here. You're grounding this energy in. You're grounding these lessons in. This is so strength card, by the way this right here seeing things from a new perspective understanding like we both have these two energies within us the shadow and the light so I kind of like that comparison here these two we both have good and bad within us your family your whoever judged you or criticized you your understanding situations you may even get an apology of some sort this week. Like you may have a really beautiful healing conversation, healing realization. Something is is making sense, which was kind of the theme of your whole um, October, by the way. Angels of four directions. Hello, angels. Some of you that lost someone recently. My condolences to you. You're hearing from them, you're receiving some sort of grounding of that energy. I'm excited to clarify this betrayal. All right, let's get your tarot cards. This is really cool, really beautiful. Eight of Pentacles is coming out first for overall energy. Remember I was telling you it's a great, good week to create? I was kind of already feeling that with your initial cards. To create, to express, to write, whatever it is that brings you joy. Spending more time doing that. Some of you, you may ask for a trip and you get you get it. Is this like a giveaway even? Or you ask to participate in some sort of creative, fun trip and you're able to even take your family or take someone else with you. If there's something you already have in mind, ask for it. You're probably going to get it, even if you don't really understand how yet. This dream big with this eight of pentacles oh somebody's gonna like win a giveaway or you get a free trip or something you may even get paid to go on this trip oh who's that though kind of i'm looking at her is this for you miss fashionista miss creator miss something here something quite beautiful is is being created in this energy we get the judgment. Wow, we talked about judgment. I said the word exactly, judgment, earlier. Oh, two of cups. Okay, these two are definitely going to get. They want to speak already. A knight of pentacles. So in your work and career, something beautiful is quite happening. It's interesting in your relationship uh, position, you get the judgment. And then in your career and work position, you get the two of cups. Your guidance, like it was last week, was knight of pentacles. Move slowly. Overall energy is working on something and you're being guided to take it slow, one step at a time. And when it comes to your work, you get uh, your relationships, you get the judgment and your career, you get two of cups. So this is instantly drawing me back to these uh, messages here your tarot as well it's like an echo that we're getting don't hide <laughs> when it comes to your passion when it comes to making money when it comes to even your relationships it's all about vulnerability it's all about healing and awakening and embracing your superpower not being ashamed okay because the emotional nakedness you avoid is your superpower not your shame that's this card being emotionally naked means being vulnerable enough for the real you to shine through judgment maybe it's for you to awaken to your purpose that will lead you to career changes or just more abundance in general the judgment is actually very great to get when it comes to money it's kind of feeling to me like there's a chance for you to Almost like level up. Yeah, dream big, don't settle. Exactly, there's more for you. Oh my gosh, exactly. All the messages are already out. <laughs> and 
it's like awakening to everything that's right in front of us and piecing it together practice being transparent knight of pentacles as well especially starting with the people closest to you that's probably why you're getting the two of cups a conversation may happen here where you tell someone like okay I haven't been showing up as the real me or haven't there's something I haven't been telling you or this is you've only been seeing one side of me and let me introduce you to this other side having that courage to feel and express your feelings without people pleasing and without shrinking because it's easier and more convenient to shrink or to hide or to be guarded guarded what did I say though like Irish Scottish guarded <laughs> the healing begins by speaking your truth, sharing your story. Something about you being brave here allows someone else to be brave. Being comfortable with feeling uncomfortable and even with making other people uncomfortable. The affirmation with the naked card is I have the courage to be vulnerable. Especially when it comes to this betrayal energy that you're getting here. Who, who really betrayed you? Is it you betraying yourself? That's what this card is all about. It's that realization. Like, I, I can't even blame anybody or myself about it. I'm just waking up to the truth now, which means I must protect. The betrayal sometimes is like this feeling that you want to know the truth or you want to protect your magic here. So something like that may be happening this week where you can't hide or pretend anymore. You're, you're going after the truth. You're wanting to clear things up. You're wanting to figure out who it is you can trust. Judgment in your work environment and in your relationships. Calling closer to you the people that you really care about and kind of setting things straight with other relationships like it's almost like having a conversation with someone and saying I guess so we both know where we stand with this friendship or with this like you know relationship wow I'm curious to see how that's going to resonate for some of you some relationship cleanup is happening here and it doesn't necessarily have to mean just romantic it could be with your co-worker with your family oh the real question with the betrayal card is how have I betrayed or abandoned myself? How can I start to show up authentically light and shadow? And that may mean with the grounding card number three. And I noticed how I pulled all your cards in threes here in the Oracle deck. I kind of like that. I just started doing that randomly. Protect your magic. Your heart is your own, your body is your own, your mind is your own, your truth and story are your own. Be rooted in your truth. Create healthy boundaries. So this reading is all about truth, self-discovery, boundaries, awakening, discovering purpose, discovering what makes you happy, <laughs> opportunities that come by way of that, money that comes by way of that as well. Wow. Your angels are definitely with you right now cancerians okay oh i lost my light it's okay we'll keep going your angels could definitely be your family members as well but i feel like this family card is just really pointing me to like almost a, a childlike feeling about this reading it's like coming back to listening to your inner voice healing your inner child probably which helps you with your own children as well but Treating a situation is really playful. That's why in the beginning I was like, let down your guard, embrace, embrace who you really are, which could be very childlike, <laughs> whatever that may mean. We get the four of swords, uh, four of swords. Mm, why aren't you resting? This card literally says, why aren't you resting? Can you see that? <laughs> I started the video too saying like taking care of yourself seasons are changing we have three of wands coming out as well to clarify so the eight of pentacles is clarified by the four of swords which brings me back to your guidance card which is all about taking things slow and one step at a time so the creativity the excitement the ideas are definitely there but you're being guided to rest 
I said something on a live stream recently to one of my VIP members. Hey, Chris, the girl. I said to her, make sure you take time to download before you can upload. You need to download, <laughs> rest, receive, and then move forward, which means you may need some time like this. I love this imagery. See her little hot water bottle and a puppy, the tea, the books, like take more time for stillness. It's really going to help you when it comes to receiving the messages and downloads and opportunities for your career matters as well. That's probably why you're getting told rest because a lot may be going on in your mental space when it comes to work, career, creativity, money, ideas inspiration we get three of wands put yourself out there and you'll be rewarded one way or another and this is clarifying the judgment card wow to clarify your um relationships here two of cups the lovers oh the lovers with the two of cups wow this is beautiful there's a reunion here Will you or won't you? <laughs> Will they or won't they? The choice is yours. This has to do with money and your relationships. Like it's it's all over your reading. This like choosing which road you're going to go down. The six of swords and the number six major arcana, the lovers. The lovers and the strength card. The only two major arcana that are out at the moment. Okay, let's get your final guidance here. To clarify the Knight of Pentacles, the patient witch. Wow, you get a number 12. Learn to get comfortable with sitting with what sitting still whenever necessary. And the Knight of Pentacles. Going slowly is just as good. Right? You're reworking your programming on this. Productivity does not mean quickly. It just means consistently. It means taking care of yourself. You're training yourself to operate like this. And that's your third major arcana card out. Strength card, the lovers, and the hang man. <laughs> Patience, downloads, receiving. Sometimes you may feel stuck when the hangman comes out, but Flow with it, Cancerians. Flow with it. Sitting still, being stuck, being lost, have things being uncomfortable, things being not figured out, all up in the air. There's actually so much magic in this part of your life, in this phase. Surrender a bit. Let your angels come through and help you. This is the, the sacred time that is necessary to realign with your heart and with your purpose, which is, it's all connected, right? To have both of these cards right next to each other, your career and your relationships place, realigning and helping you to choose your next partner wisely, receive this love or go deeper with your current partner, making maybe some small sacrifices, but ultimately leading you to a lot of enlightenment and a lot of peace and joy wow this is really really beautiful i want to get your love card okay oh well <laughs> commit oh my god commitment power couple let me shine it in the light right here commitment power couple express your needs they adore you wow Communication, communication, communication. This is great. Who is all this for? I mean, with the two of cups and the lovers, it, it tracks. <laughs> it's consistent, Cancerian. This is great. Enjoy. You know, don't look for trouble when there ain't none. It's kind of giving me that vibe. Okay, let's get your fallback cards. Guardian angel. Yeah, someone from the other side says hello. You were guided and protected. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Allow yourself to be led. Don't worry about making choices or what's the right choice, what's the wrong choice. Let yourself be led. And sometimes you just need to be still, Four of Swords, Hangman, for that feeling, that intuition, that information to come through. Your affirmation, I am a powerful manifester. I trust, I believe, I receive, breathe in for me. Exhale and repeat that to yourself. You have another affirmation here. I am safe in my arms. I care for myself like no one else. 
last. Okay, we got two and one. Begin again. Today is a fresh start. Your path is clear to begin where you are and you get all is temporary. It's okay not to feel your best. Like the moon, we go through phases. Give yourself time to get your groove back. This too will soon pass. And acceptance, it is what it is. Healing, oh, we see healing here. Healing occurs naturally with acceptance. Make peace with what is. The only way out is through. That's exactly what your whole reading is giving me. I feel like I'm going to need to watch this one back. <laughs> There's a lot happening here. Just to receive that again. Thank you so much for being here with me. Do me a favor and leave a like and a comment. Even if it's just an emoji to help the algorithm. I would love for more empaths and cancers to find us. Um, I'll see you on Instagram in the meantime. Please beware of scammers guys. And if you're ever looking for a personal reading. Check out my link in the description box for my sponsor Keen. Where I go to get a reading anytime 24-7. Um, uh, yeah. I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.